everybody. As a lot of you guys know, if you're blog readers of mine, I've been traveling a lot lately. And one thing I think I've gotten really, really good at is packing and just to carry on. Now, whenever I heard someone say this, I thought, oh yes, I'm not gonna rewear everything 12 times. I'm someone who overpacks. I'm someone who always, always overpacks. If I need four outfits, I'm gonna take six. Because I'm gonna have that day when you're gonna wake up and you're not gonna feel like wearing whatever you thought. So I'm not the underpacker by any means, but by watching other videos, especially um, Ingrid, um, Miss Glamorazzi's videos, um, I got some helpful tips, and I think I've create, I think I've gotten it down to just about a science. So I just got back from the gym. I just had a shower. Um, I haven't put makeup or anything else on. I just came back from a camping trip, and my face is sunburned, and it's breaking out and everything else. And I'm heading to a wedding shortly where I'm a bridesmaid, and I don't want to upset my face or anger my face anymore so you'll have to forgive me i'm just this is just the way it is so i'm going to start with my suitcase this is my carry-on bag this is all i take um and as i said i'm definitely not one to underpack but i've had a lot of requests um on facebook and whatnot to do a packing video so i thought i would do it so this is a just a standard 19 inch carry-on. It has two pockets on the inside. I don't know if you can see. I'll try to stand it up. So inside here are my little red Michael Kors flats. Um, again, you're going to notice I really, really didn't underpack for this. I have three pairs of shoes plus the pair of shoes I'm wearing. Then there's also this pouch here. Now for dietary reasons and whatnot, I found that I'm not always somewhere where I can just go buy food. I'm not someone who eats at McDonald's. I have dietary restrictions. So I always like to pack some snacks. Also because I work overnights as most of you guys know, my schedule isn't the same as everybody else's. So these I take with me everywhere. They are the Joe's Tasty Treats Toasted Praline Peanuts. They're $3 at Walmart and what's so fantastic about them is they're so sweet that you can't eat more than a handful of them. So they're just like a great thing to snack on and they prevent you from over snacking. The other thing I pack are some pouches of tuna. Um, they're just easy, they don't go bad, they don't have to be refrigerated. I tend to stay in hotels that have refrigerators but every so often you get one that doesn't. And just some little pouches of mayonnaise mixing with the tuna. And I always have those just in the little pouch here. And that way I'm never without food. Again, not a necessity, but it just makes life easier. The other thing I pack in the outer zipper is this little makeup bag from Holt Renfrew. And it's seriously just makeup remover wipes, cotton pads, Q-tips. I really have like a ton of these. I don't know why I have like 20 of them. Um, earplugs. And this is the Bliss problem solved 21 wonder bomb long since um discontinued it's basically just a solid stick of vaseline which is great for blisters it's great for chafing it's great just to add a little bit of extra moisture on chat's feet on blisters you name it it's fantastic i've done a review on my blog and i will if i remember link it below but julep makes one that's very very similar and they're just great to have so i always have that that just can stick in there and then the core of my suitcase so this here is a brush makeup brush roll again as i said i definitely don't pack lightly um this brush roll is the best brush roll i've ever found ever it's from delium tools um, even if you don't need brushes, I highly recommend going to Delian Tools um, and buying their smallest brush set you can, which I think you can buy for $30 or $40 just to get this makeup roll um, because it's fantastic. And then in this little padded thing is my Clarisonic. It's the Mia because I don't go anywhere without the Mia. And as you'll notice, everything's in little pouches. It just makes things easy. It makes things less tangled. I also know what goes in each one. 
this is from Eagle Creek, and this was something that was recommended by Ingrid. Um, Ms. Glanner asked me a few things in here are, and this is one of the packing cubes. Um, it's the packet system, and inside here, I'm not going to take everything out because you don't need to see all my socks and underwear, but there are six pair of socks, there are six pair of underwear, there is also a t-shirt and pajama pants, and I'm losing stuff. There's also a zip up BCBG um, hoodie from one of their track sets. This trip is for five days. I have all sorts of functions to go to. Um, I have a barbecue, a casual barbecue dinner. I have a rehearsal dinner for the wedding. Um, there's a casual lunch that I'm meeting a bunch of girlfriends for. There is a dinner with my brother and my future sister-in-law and my parents and my grandmother. There's also Saturday night we're renting out a restaurant, um, a fairly fancy restaurant in downtown Toronto. And that's going to be not quite black tie, but definitely cocktail dress and hot heels. There's the wedding. There's the Sunday morning. Before the wedding, we're all going to the salon to get our hair and our makeup done. We're also, I'm going to be there all the next day. So I've got lots of different things. So I've got a lot of stuff. But yes, this is pajamas, socks, underwear. There's a pair of tights in here. And there's a hoodie in here. And it takes up very little room. So that's really good. I have all my jewelry in this little pouch. Uh, now what I do is I take these little makeup bags. Like this is from a Marc Jacobs. Um, I think this was a blush palette, but I put all my jewelry in these little pouches um, just to protect them. This is the Beloved Bangle from Chloe, Kate and Chloe. Kate and Chloe. Chloe and Kate. The whatever that is. Um, I've got a Tiffany & Co necklace. Um, this is just a Chanel bag that I'm using for others. And then a Zocchini necklace that I really like. Um, and then I just use the Chanel and the Dior um, velvet pouches that makeup comes in to store them all and then they all go in here and this way they don't get scratched, they don't get tangled and that works really really well. And then in here are a pair of Michael, ooh, of, I was going to say Michael Kors, they're not Michael Kors, they're Stuart Weitzman, they're the Logo Plainfields. These are the shoes I'm wearing to the wedding um, and they are just in the bag they come in. Um, my dad said that if I if my shoes come with little um, fabric bags, I'm paying too much for my shoes. And he does have a point. But anyways, those are in there, just so they don't get scratched. Then these are the shoes for the Saturday night function. And they are Brown's Couture. Um, for those of you who live in Canada who have tried brown shoes and don't like them, like me, I find they're really cheap and fairly uncomfortable. The Browns Couture are slightly overpriced. Um, I think these are $200, so definitely overpriced, but actually really comfortable and fit really well. So don't write them off just because they say Browns on them, which is what I did, and I'm really glad the sales associate talked me into trying them on. And then in here, um, I'm just using another um, shoe bag is my clutch for the wedding. This is actually a really cheap bag. I think it was only $40 or $45. In fact, the price, the receipts in here, it was only $40. And it's from Aldo Accessories. I just needed something that was neutral and dressy. And this has the little set on the top and it matches the shoes. So I thought this would be a really good bag for the wedding. And then I have my hair straightener because I can't go anywhere with it, my hair straightener. Or you end up with this, doesn't end well. So that's what's in this half of the bag. And again, if you can tell, I'm really not, I'm gone for five days and I'm taking three pair of shoes and I'm wearing a pair. So you will notice I'm not skimping just to save room. Then on this side, I have a denim skirt. Um, I pack most of my clothing in packing envelopes. Again, this was from Ingrid, um, Miss Glamorassi. Um, 
it was her suggestion and it's actually the brand she got this one slightly overstuffed but the denim skirts are sturdy enough just like jeans you don't need them in so it's just by itself and then i'll show you what's in here but then the only other thing really in my bag is this which is my brand new and i'm probably going to destroy it it's my brand new trench coat from club monaco so i don't know what the weather is going to be like a week from now in toronto it could be 30 degrees outside and it could be minus 15 and snowing who knows so this is the packing cube and this is the most amazing brilliant life-saving device i've ever had in my life i can't get over if they just fold open like this they come with a folding board and you fold all the clothing around the folding board and then you stack it up so in here i have a skirt a printed maxi skirt which i think is really cute and a blouse for it then I have another outfit, which is another skirt and another top. Then I have this casual maxi dress and this cardigan to go with it. Then this is the dress I'm wearing for my brother's wedding. It's navy lace and it's sequins. Um, I say um far too much. The nice thing about this dress is that it is a uh, lace over a knit, so it's not going to wrinkle or anything else, but that's also one of the big advantages um, to this is you fold them around the board and then this compresses and sucks everything in and nothing really wrinkles. This is a Ralph Lauren, I'll show you just to, um, this is a cocktail dress that I am wearing on the Saturday night um, with the blue heels. So then you put the folding board in. I don't know if you're going to be able to see on the camera, but you fold it around there. And again, the nice thing about most of what I'm taking is that I'm choosing things that are knits or that are microfibers so that they don't wrinkle. But the truth is, if you are careful with the board and the careful with the folding, this will prevent anything from wrinkling. And then this sweater, which just looks like a casual sweater from the front, and then the back is completely and totally see-through. So I'm wearing this with the denim skirt for the one night. So everything sits on here. Um, you do alternate where the folds in the clothing are so that otherwise wherever you fold and it totally cut off on me. Um, my memory card ran out of memory. So if it seems a little choppy or whatever else, it's because I have to refill the end of this video. So yes, so once this is all packed, you seal it up here. And nothing's going to wrinkle, everything fits in, everything is nice and compressed. And then it just pops back in there. This goes on top. Now while my bag does look like it's completely full, and my bag is pretty full. I mean, I could stuff a few more things in it if I really wanted to, but... Um, especially in with the shoes, there's a lot of extra room. But the nice thing about this is I'm going to be in downtown Toronto. I'm going to be right across from the Eaton Centre. I know I'm going to shop. I have 190000 No, sorry, I have 95000 which is $170 worth of redemption at Shoppers Drug Mart for Chanel makeup. And I'm going to be right across from the Eaton Centre. Let's face it, I'm going to shop. But what am I going to do with this stuff? Well, that's easy. My trench coat takes up a quarter of this bag. It's taking up this entire half under my packing envelope. So I just pop out the trench coat, I either wear it on the plane or I carry it on the plane and then I have lots of room and it prevents me from overpacking that way and it ensures I always have room. My logic is if I can't fit my trench coat and it's a fairly large trench coat or a big hoodie or whatever it is, if I can't fit that in the suitcase, I'm not leaving myself enough room. And it also prevents me from doing too much shopping damage 
when I'm in on a trip. Now, to be fair, there are times where I have definitely checked my carry-on and then taken like a tote bag or something on because I shopped too much, like when I was in Vegas um, recently. But yes, anyways, I also take this pillow so that I can sleep on the plane, and that is this carry-on. I know I'm talking really, really quickly, but I also don't want this video to be an hour and a half long, but I've had requests and requests to do it. Now, as for the purse, what I take is this, which is the Michael Kors multifunction carry-all. I can't recommend this enough. I was seriously worried about it because these straps are super, super thin and it's leather and it's going to stretch and these holes are going to, these holes are going to do nothing. These holes are going to last you. The strap is going to last you. I've had this for about a year. I wear it probably four days a week to work. It carries my laptop in it. It probably has 25 pounds to 30 pounds in it. It's insanely overpacked. Always. There's always a Diet Coke in here and it's in absolutely perfect shape. I do wish there were feet on the bottom. It's my one pet peeve about it, but it's also what I take on every single trip with me as my carry-on bag because it has the padded envelope for my laptop. There's a school bus outside, which is bothering me. Um, I also keep all my files and papers in there that I need. And then my purse goes in it because I take the mini Mac. I try to travel with a small bag so that it fits in because you can take one purse and one carry-on. So this is my purse, but this is my actual purse. So this is the Rebecca Lincoln Cost Mini Mac. If you will notice, it's the same color as the high heels that I'm wearing for the Saturday night. I tried to make everything kind of coordinate so that I could wear this bag with pretty much everything. It'll match the navy. It'll match the black. It'll match the blue. So this is the bag, except for the clutch, which I'm going for the wedding. Then. Oh, I have a can of Diet Coke, which actually cannot go in here. I just never took it out. My sunglasses, because I never go without sunglasses. These ones are a pair of Coach ones. Um, normally, I wear my diesel ones every day. But I used to work for the company that's TJX. TJX. Um, that's Winners and Marshalls and whatever else. So I have a ton of designer sunglasses that I paid next to nothing for. Um, so I'm not really worried about that. Then my makeup. My makeup goes in my carry-on. Now, I'm just slightly confused, so, and you'll see why in a second. But my makeup goes in my carry-on. Now, as I said, when I said I don't underpack, I mean I really don't underpack. This is like completely and totally full. It has my Laura Mercier Artist's Palette, which is the I don't want to blind you with it, the greatest eyeshadow palette ever. Um, I also have in here, I picked up in Burbank recently, is the Lorac Pro 2 palette. Um, I know I wasn't a fan of the Lorac Pro palette. I swatched it once or twice and I gave it to a friend because there was no way I was going to use it. I don't like it. I don't understand the hype around it. Love the second one. I know there are other YouTubers out there and other bloggers out there who didn't love the Lorac Pal Pro palette, the first one, although we're few and far between. Um, Vintager Tacky was um, the one who, the first one I saw who loved this second one but didn't like the first one, and I had no interest in getting the second one because I hated the first one until she went, this one's really, really good, and it is. Basically, just listen to her. If she likes it, I should just get it. Then I use this. I'm torn between thinking this is the greatest thing in the world and this is the most horrendous, horrible thing in the world. Um, and I'll tell you why for both. Um, why I was confused is because I have a dry finishing texture spray loose in my bag, but it should be in this bag, and it is. So I apparently have two of them. So this one we will take out. This is all the liquids. It has the Caudalie Beauty Elixir, which I'm irritated and burnt and just any skin. This is just the most amazing feeling, wonderful stuff ever. I just love it. Um, I've got hair stuff. I've got Living from Living Proof. I've got that texture spray. I've got a sea salt spray. What I'm realizing I don't have in here is a dry shampoo, so I'll have to get one primer, um, one of these travel perfumes, it's 
sprays. This is Baby Doll from YSL, which is one of my favorite perfumes ever. But basically all the liquids. I don't want to be that person who stands in the terminal in security putting everything into a clear plastic bag. I love the fact that this is TSA approved. It's clear. It's called the Beauty on the Fly Sephora bag. And the idea is brilliant. It works fabulously, except it breaks on me like every time I use it. Um, I seriously can't go with more than two or three trips. And by trips, I don't mean like round trips. I just mean trips. Like I go here and there and then it's done. Um, and I take it into support every time to return because it broke and either the zipper snaps off or it's come up prior to the seam in one. The whole zipper here came apart. I don't overpack it. Like there's still lots of room in it, yet they still always, always tear on me. And I take it into return and then they just ask if I want to exchange it for a new one and I say yes and then I end up with another one until it breaks. And I'm in a really dangerous cycle of that. It's the eternal spiral of I hate this but I love this. Um, aside from that, I carry this pouch with me which was from a Marc Jacobs Lola thing and it just has an extra um, charge for my cell phone. It'll charge my cell phone twice. And then it has an actual charger for it, like a the plug for the wall for the cord. So this will charge my cell phone, or it'll charge this, and this will also charge my phone. I also have another cord that I stick in, and it charges my iPod. And because I do still have a classic iPod, I don't, as it's all tangled up, I don't like using my cell phone as a musical device to listen to music. I just find it eats the charge of my phone and it's completely unnecessary when this takes up like no space whatsoever. It just seems totally unnecessary to me. This also holds videos on it. I know it's super tiny and now I tend to take my iPad with me so I don't need this for video, but overall it's just easy and it really doesn't take up much space except I just turned it on. Now it's off. Um, it doesn't take up enough space to be worthwhile. I also will always take with me Advil and Advil migraine. I don't recommend using other containers for your pills than the ones they come in. Security can be a little fussy, but the other pills are actually labeled on here. My memory card is really acting up because it just died again. But yes, as I was saying, I don't recommend putting pills in other containers because security can sometimes get a little fussy about it. Otherwise, that's everything that's in here. I've got my laptop and my chargers in the padded compartment. I have everything here. As you can see, I'm gone for five days. I have six outfits in here, plus the denim skirt, and the other is seven, plus I'm going to be wearing one. Realistically, I haven't underpacked at all. I'm taking three pairs of shoes, and I have a pair, and I can always take out the trench coat and give myself lots of room for whatever I buy in here. Otherwise, that's about it. If you have any ideas, for packing any other helpful tips or useful hints let me know in the comments below what works for you what else did I say the packing cubes are from Eagle Creek I didn't sure I mentioned that before but I'll say it again I just built Eagle Creek packing cubes Canada and the first website that came out was a travel website that was based in Montreal they were absolutely amazing I ordered um, one of the three items I ordered was out of stock. They gave me a bunch of different options. They could I could wait until it came in stock and they'd ship my whole order then. They'd ship what was in stock now and ship that one later. They could just refund me for that item. It was whatever I wanted to do. Um, I told them to hold my order and ship it then. When I got the item, by the way, when that happened, they called me. A human being called me on the phone to tell me that. I didn't get an email, which from an online website really surprised me. So yeah, that's what works for me. It's become for me pretty much just very, very standard. The day before I pack, I write down everything I need to take. Literally everything, socks times how many pair, underwear times how many pair, pajamas, what shoes I need, what purses I need. If I'm going for five days, I make five columns and I write what I'm gonna write where for each one of those days including shoes and bags to make sure I don't forget anything. And then the next day I just pack it up and yes, that's, I keep saying that's about it. That's it. 
Hopefully I answered all your questions you had. Um, to those who asked me to do this video, thank you because I'm now packed day early because I did this for you guys. So it's going to make tomorrow much less stressful. And yeah, have a great day.